Wow, this is really, really close. What the f Good morning, guys. So today I'm actually working and I'm going to show you guys what it's like to have a job as a nanny and what I do in order to keep up with my health goals and everything. And this goes for anyone, no matter what. Like if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to bulk, if you're trying to cut, if you're in prep for a show, this is what I've been doing to keep me on track. My job, I do get to drive a lot of like nice, cool cars and everything. And like, you know, sometimes I drive things that you're just like, Sydney, that car is worth more than your life. And I'm like, yeah, but um, it's not my car, it's not mine, it's not my money. But yet people, when they see someone driving a nice car, automatically assume they're successful they're beautiful they're rich whatever you want to assume like when you see someone driving a really nice expensive car and not that the jeep's like the most expensive but when i was in the maserati like i had so many guys like hitting on me but not because of me it was because of the car people are so superficial because if i were in my own car which is not bad or anything but like if i were in mine just because it's like not as sexy or like whatever guys think about cars the difference is like the ratio of them wanting to get my number versus like in my own car versus like being in a nicer like damn like that's a nice car type of situation is very like different maybe two per day versus the 20 plus that i get when i'm in these cars and it's so frustrating because i just realize how superficial people are and like a lot of the times i'll just say oh i'll take your number and if i ever like have free time i'll you know hit you up but i never hit them up because that's not who i am and that's not like what i drive all the time you know what i mean so it's just i don't know I don't know how to explain it like I don't know that was a little rant that I had but um yeah so today I'm driving a Jeep Rubicon but I drive a lot of different random cars um but I want to show you guys the outside of this because I think it looks so nice I had my dog in the back just FYI that's why it looks kind of weird um I saw a comment a while ago that was like Sydney why are you always in different cars this is why because of my job so this is the outside of it in case you guys are curious it's pretty sick like it's a pretty nice jeep so i just picked up taylor ray and now i'm going to do some errands i have dry cleaning to pick up for them this is the life of a nanny so i'm gonna go pick up the dry cleaning and uh yeah i'll talk to you guys when we do something else finished doing some errands and now we are headed to go pick up my little sister who's actually going to be playing with TR today. Is your seatbelt on? Yeah, it is. Right? It is? Okay. Today I've done errands. Um, I had a muscle milk protein drink and then I had a serving of Skippy peanut butter because that is my um, peanut butter for the day. It's on my meal plan. And I haven't been that hungry, so like I've been kind of just waiting because if I'm not super hungry Like I tend to be the one to like overeat at night So I just kind of like wait and then eat the calories then so we are actually going to hit up Safeway and get some chocolate chips for pancakes. I'm not eating them. She is and uh, Yeah, so that's kind of like the plan for right now. We're gonna go and get my little sister so we can have a play date and I'll show you guys when I eat like a full real meal. All of mine are meal prepped, so like they're in just containers. They're super easy. Like I have no excuse not to eat them, but I haven't been that hungry yet and it's only one o'clock. You know, I'll have plenty of time where I'm just sitting down like wanting to eat. So I figured why not just wait until I'm like actually hungry wanting to eat. Cause I know I will be. That's how I always am every day. So yeah, that's the plan. So I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I am so hangry right now. Like I am hungry and angry and if i don't eat soon i'm going to blow up <laughs> like i'm so angry so i'm making food right now currently got this going it's in there for like a long time i think i should probably take it out this is what i have yum yum in my tongue so i finished eating um most of my food but i want to show you guys my stomach today and this is because i like have been eating super on point, but I have not eaten my broccoli, so like I'm not bloated. And so I'll show you how that works and everything. You guys can go out the front and then I'll be out there in a second. So like when I don't eat broccoli, I don't have the bloating that I sometimes get. So like right now, I have that line at the top, which I normally don't have. But yeah, that's today's update. But yeah, I'm currently still nanning. We're gonna take her home and then we're gonna go back home. You said 
said the same thing I told ya. My eyes are clear, there's no secret. I wanna know, was it serious? I've had my Canon Rebel T3i since I started my like. For four years now, I've had I've had my Canon Rebel T3i for four years. I've taken amazing care of it. I've loved it. I have honestly appreciated it because I, you know, saved my money for it. I paid for it myself. And I've worked really hard to get my channel to where it is right now. And I feel like it's time for me to do something nice for myself because like I'm always on that camera and I love it and not that I don't love it let's keep in mind that I definitely love that camera still like I would recommend it to anyone I would recommend it to anyone who's wanting a camera and they want something that has a flip out screen like the t3i is all you need honestly I want to upgrade my quality and it does do autofocus so yeah I'm thinking I might do that obviously right now I have to save for it I'm like I'm just cut. I don't even eat out anymore. Like I have to cut back just because all the things that I want are not feeding my goals. And so, like if I want to go out to eat, that's not feeding my goal for going to. Um, if I want to go out to eat, the thing is, I have to order things that are a lot more expensive than just a burger and fries because I feel like it's important for you guys to see like what my goals are for this year, and then we'll see like if I end up doing them, if I end up getting them done, like all those, you know, all those things that you don't really normally see. Okay guys, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing. I received a few packages. First things first, let me get my phone because I always Snapchat these things. So the first thing that I ended up getting was actually, I already pulled this out of the package, was the Canon for my G7X holder. Just makes it a lot easier to carry it and feel like it's more protected than the case that I originally had for it. There is this container which is a sampler from Eat Enlightened. And it looks like this, and it's just a crisp, I'm guessing, the Good For You crisp. Then there's also another sampler. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I wonder what's in these. Maybe like help. And there's no paper. I wish they sent a paper, but there's a ton of these little sampler box. So it says, have you tried our good for you ice cream? And then it says at last an ice cream that makes you feel good. Enjoy a dollar off any two enlightened ice cream pints. There's a coupon enclosed and it has that. And then it tells you what the crisps are. So that's pretty cool. Then there's also a dollar off any two boxes or pints of enlightened ice cream. And then a dollar off any two bags of the roasted bean chips. These are so, so good. Okay, so I'll tell you about the flavors. I've only tried this one, which is the cocoa dusted ones. And I'll get up close and personal for you guys. The cocoa dusted ones. I received the sweet cinnamon ones. And I received the garlic and onion ones, which are all 100 calories, as well as the wasabi ones. And wasabi is supposedly really spicy and I cannot handle spicy. Then I received the sea salt ones as well as mesquite barbecue. These ones are the mesquite barbecue ones. And then I also received the sriracha ones. I don't, I don't really wanna open more of them if they're all the same, but I'm gonna open one more and see if it's the same. Because if it is, then I won't open the rest and I'll just give them away. So let's open up and see if it's the same because it sounds like they're the same. But I'm gonna try to cleanly open it so that then I can seal it back up if I give these away. Okay, yeah, so these are the same. Okay, so really quickly, I'm also going to open this package. And this one's just from Sephora. This one's just a package from Sephora. Because you guys always ask to see what I received in the mail, so I figured why not show you. So from Sephora, I received sealed with a mist, something in here, I'm not really sure. Set tone with fragrance, this is interesting. Cause I have all the samples that they gave me and then this is, oh. 
I can't, I don't know what this is. So then I actually ended up getting the DKNY Be Delicious perfume and this one I bought because, shout out to Caitlin who gave me a gift card and then I had another gift card and I was able to purchase this and I always get compliments when I wear the rollerball so yeah.